Sponsored by WinWing Technologies. Once again, another bright idea that balances versatility and realism. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at a reenactment of the US bombing of Rabaul in 1943, but with a difference. First, a bit of history. The air attacks of Rabaul happened between the 2nd and the 11th of November 1943. As the Americans were winning the war in the Pacific and working their way northwest up the Solomon Island chain towards Japan, the next stage was to take Bougainville Island, this guy here, to set up bases. But the Japanese knew about this and they put in a counter move. They moved 10 cruisers and 11 destroyers to Rabaul here for refueling, where they could attack the landing forces at Bougainville Island. The Americans knew of the Japanese force at Rabaul and so attacked them in port while refueling. The American attack consisted of three fleet carriers, two light carriers, two light cruisers, nine destroyers, a total of 631 aircraft. The Japanese force in the port was 10 cruisers, 11 destroyers, 200 aircraft nearby on bases, and various merchant ships. Casualties and losses. Americans lost 10 carrier aircraft and 17 land-based aircraft. The Japanese suffered one destroyer sunk, six cruisers heavily damaged, and 52 aircraft destroyed on the ground and in the air. So a major blow to the Japanese. We have some photos taken off the time. This is actually Rabaul Harbour. As they were being bombed, they were steaming up and all heading out of the harbour under attack by the Americans. So we're going to see if we can do as much or more damage than it took the Americans in 1943, nine days, five aircraft carriers and 631 aircraft to do. We're going to try and doing it with just 10 very powerful modern aircraft. Here is our analogue for Rabaul. This bay is too big, so you can see this line here I've drawn is the same size as the Rabaul Natural Harbour. Also, we've got a nearby airbase. It's actually the wrong position, but I'm putting it close just to keep it all together. The Japanese have the correct amount of cruisers and destroyers in the port, as well as a sprinkling of merchant ships, all in random positions. As well as that, they have numerous port facilities, an airbase, AAA, and a bunch of uh, Japanese aircraft on the ground. And finally, they've got 12 zeros up in the sky patrolling set to attack any aircraft that incur. That is Rabaul. Here is our strike taking off from 100 miles away. I should say this is actually the Marianas, it's the closest we've got to the area. We are taking a measly 10 aircraft, but very powerful aircraft. Four B-1B Lancers, each carrying 24 GBU-31 GPS INS guided 2,000 pound bombs. They will be attacking the naval vessels in the harbour. Five Lancers, each carrying 84 Mark 82 unguided 500 pound freefall bombs. These guys will be carpet bombing the airfield and the port facilities. And finally, myself and RC, say hello RC. Hello. Cannot fly bones in game, so we're going to take the nearest thing, a Tomcat, or should I say a Bombcat. We are carrying 18 500 pound Mark 82 retarded bombs, and we're going to try taking out the runway. So that gives us a total of 96 2,000 pound bombs and 438 500 pound bombs. That gives us an absolute total of 411 thousand pounds of bombs. That is a lot of bombs. Welcome valued viewers to our airbase. We've got our beautiful nine bones on our right here and we're gonna taxi out with them. How do you like a good bone RC? Mm. You do. It's always good. Yes, there you go. There you go. Very pretty aircraft. Love seeing them in real life at Riot. They are starting to move, I'll see, but we're just going to have to wait our turn, I'm afraid. I know you're not a patient man, but... Mm. Look how small the Tomcat is. It's so small. Yeah. And it's a massive plane. Bone is just colossal. Apparently, I've heard, you've got loads of bones in America, but apparently only six are actually airworthy. I heard. Although that may be wrong. Probably is wrong. But they're an absolute menace to maintain. Well, you'll be happy to know they're taxing yeah, all they the way go. down the end of the runway. Oh, are we going? Yeah, it always happens. They do that, don't they? Right, off we go. Try not to whack into any bones, please, RC. Literally, my one request for today. 
Mm. Phones are super loud in real life. They used to have them at Mildenhall Air Show back in the good old days before health and safety, and they used just used to boom over the crowd, 500 feet. It was amazing. Can't do it anymore, but it was very sexy. Wow, this is going to be the longest taxi run in, in history of the world. Valued yeah, I'm not quite sure why uh, DCS has not implemented something where you can choose which runway they actually take off from. Or do they just go to the closest runway instead of always the furthest runway? I mean, up. it'd be nice to have an option to tell them either closest runway or specific runway. Well, let's see if they listen to you. They probably won't. No. It appears we have some time to talk valid views, so let's talk about the tactics. We're going to go out as a big blob at 100 feet over the ocean at transonic, possibly supersonic speeds, depending on how fast we can get the bones to go. We'll be in the rear because we are just not as important as the bones. The four front bones will climb when we reach Rabaul or near Rabaul. They will lose their GPS INS guided bombs at about 6,000 feet, which will guide down to the targets and hopefully seek and destroy the ships. The next two bones, in fact you need to listen to this RC and I will remind you when we're in the air, bones five and six as the first four start climbing are going to turn to the right and they're going to attack the island from the north. We want to attack it from different angles, it just seems to be the optimal thing to do. We're actually going to go with them because it's also the safest ingress, less uh, AAA guns. Then the last three bones are just going to go straight in at 100 feet over the harbour or the port and then bomb uh, the airfield. Okay, they're making the turn now. Big bone. I love a big bone. I see, I insist we open the canopy to listen to these bones go. I'll go ahead. Did you just press the button? Oh, ouch. Look at that big mama go. Big mama son. That's American power right there. Okay, bone two is going. They're really heavily loaded. They've got tons and tons of bombs on them. I'll see we're next. Better close the canopy. Canopy closing. Oh, you figured it out. Look at me, I pressed the button. Spent about half an hour in the MiG-15 trying to open the canopy last night and failed. That was a waste of half an hour that I would never get back. Good job. Mm. One slight concern I have is that the Tomcat may actually not be fast enough to keep up with the bones. Those bones are going to be pretty much supersonic on the deck. I'm worried that we can't do that with all these stores, so you'll be getting the blame if we can't keep up, RC. Right, we'll see you in 100 miles, Valued Viewers. Welcome back, Valued Viewers. We are 30 miles from the target, just behind the bones, as you can see. Looking pretty. We are actually struggling to keep up. They are so fast down low. 
because we have external stores, it slows us down, down low. Look at that, it's amazing. The four guided bombers are going high now. Our guys are turning right, okay. All of these guys RC. Good luck, everyone. Those are our guided bombers. Those are our unguided ones down there somewhere. And these are our flanking units. It's gonna be very fast, very low, and very sexy. Make sure you have a set up for... Roger, I'll get it sorted now. Setting up, so... Mark 82, uh, hydrag, check. Pilot, check. Mechanical fuse, nose tail, check. Instant, check. On, 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 on. On, on. My side's done. Alright, what are we bombing? Ships? We are going to be bombing the runway, but only when I say we're going in last to uh, see how well the, the B2s have done and then we'll go and bomb the runway. B1, sorry. Okay, cool. They are making a turn. That's some very sexy bone flying. Look how low they are, their wingtips are almost touching the water. Speed is, look at that, 650 knots on the deck. Okay, we're skirting around the top of Rabool, which is basically there. Got to go over a tiny bit of land, and then we're going to bomb. Okay, we're going up to IP altitude. These are bombing with um, non-retarded bombs, so they have to go a little bit higher so they don't blow themselves up. I can't give them retarded bombs, unfortunately. A bit laggy because uh, things are blowing up. Very laggy. Yeah, suck it up. There are live defenses, by the way. There are live planes that will try and shoot us down. There are live AAA that will try and shoot us down. I put my faith in the speed of the bone. It's going basically supersonic, and I'm pretty sure none of the World War II AAA asset sites can actually shoot at something that's supersonic. Stand to be corrected. We'll see if we lose any bones. Okay, oh, hoo -hoo. okay, a big thing has happened. Lots of smoke. Just follow these bombers till the end and then I'll decide what we're gonna do. Well, the bombing has obviously been successful. I still see bombs going up or ships going up or whatever the heck it is. They came, out of, they came out of the afterburner. Still supersonic? No, transonic now. Yeah, a big puff of black smoke. Right, I'm trying to watch them. 
Okay, here we go. Good idea to offset slightly, either left or right. I'll see, because we don't want to get blown up. But keep fast, though, because it's our only protection from the World War II assets. Wow, there's a lot of blown up stuff. There's a lot of blown up stuff. Ships in the harbour. Don't actually look that damage worryingly, but we'll go and look at that in a minute. Okay, our boys bombs out. Get ready for lag. That's kind of sexy. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Okay. RC, your task now is to bomb the runway below us. AAA is firing at us. Look at the damage on it. Oh, it bombed right across the island. Needless excess of high explosive, if there is such a thing. Here we you go. Know what I wonder if uh, the problem was wake turbulence. Wake turbulence, Roger. That's why I was having a problem. Ah, oh, we're in the wake turbulence of the Lancers, right. Here we go, yeah. RC. Let's get this right. Triple A going up. I wonder if we lost any Lancers. Boom! Bombs down from us. Look, they can't hit us. They can't hit us. <laughs> One successfully bombed runway. Look at you doing a thing, RC. Right, let's get the heck out of here. That's an hold up. I wonder how damaged the ships are. I'm slightly worried they're not sunk. A couple are damaged. Roger, I will... Um, like four of them. The little zero is chasing Five. us. <laughs> yeah. Right, we need to go south. Uh, set our sights south and let's get the heck out of here. Back to uh, Bougainville. Ow. South, I'll see. I'm going to try not to get intercepted by zeros, although there'd be a bloody good zero to shoot us down. They're trying. They are trying. Bless their cotton socks. Oh, we're supersonic. <laughs> See you later. They're still firing at us. Look at that. They can't get the lead. They physically can't get the lead to shoot us when we're at mark. Their, their optics don't allow it. He says as a 60 mil shell smashes through our face. Everything's destroyed. It's so beautiful. Right, I'll see. I am going to leave you to it, I think. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go see what the damage was. You can keep flying if you like. And bang. Okay, cap turning to god mode. Let's go see what kind of damage we did. So, uh, just random holiday flats accidentally bombed. More holiday flats accidentally bombed. Uh, runway completely destroyed. I don't know why it's not full of holes, but you saw me destroy it. There, there you can see the bomb craters. They're just modeled wrong. They should be massive 500 pound craters. So, uh, plane. Oh, they're all gone. These were all planes along here. There were 20 planes along here, if you remember. They literally disappeared. Planes. Haven't disappeared, but let me just see if I can zoom in. Yep, they're all shrapnel up. Look, that one's on fire. Something's exploding still. I don't know what it is. They're still blowing up yeah. down there. Hangar destroyed. All these planes are full of shrapnel, so they're dead as far as DCS cares. Shrapnel, shrapnel. That was missing a wing. Um, this is the ammo storage. All the ammo storage is dead apart from one building, which will no doubt catch a light. Fuel storage, of which there was a massive amount of aboard. Um, not, you know, 95% destroyed. Which is nice. Uh, over here, ships. Okay, okay. Destroyer sunk. They're just kind of, um, only sunk a few feet, obviously. Destroyer sunk. Cruiser sunk. It's a free funnel cruiser. Merchant sunk, merchant sunk. A better way might be if I go like this, actually, just have a look. Oh, everything's dead. Everything said there was 10 cruisers, 11 destroyers, six merchants there, 27 uh, ships. There is one in saleable condition, one of 27. There were two in repairable condition, sorry, three. So let's say four survived in total and 23 were completely destroyed, sunk or they're in red condition, which means they would just be scuttled anyway. Uh, the damage isn't modeled physically. So basically the entire fleet at Rebel destroyed Plus the air wing, Atrable, destroyed, plus the runway, plus all the port facilities, completely destroyed by just 10 planes. And I didn't even set them up particularly efficiently. Most of those bombs didn't even hit anything. That's the power 
of a relatively modern supersonic nuclear capable bone which is why they should keep being invested in and used because they are just so amazing right pretty much went better than i even thought anything you want to add to that rc nope but just remember, bone, good! The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.